Hey everyone, I'm back. <clears throat> it's Friday, and it's the uh, 13th, I believe, of May, and it's uh, 2.47. I'm in Waterton right now. Just got on this little trail that goes to Bertha, Bertha Lake Campground. It says it's about three miles. I just worked in the yard today till about noon. Bought a new new weed eater. Cleaned up the front and the backyard, trimmed it up. And uh, kind of like Disneyland or something. Here, here, look what I see here. That's kind of cool. Let me show you. I just come around the corner. Here's a waterfall. I have to look on the map. I don't have it here in my hand. I think it's Upper Falls. Bertha Upper Falls, maybe. Here's what I'm looking at. I like the sound of the water. So, let me show you, let me take you with me on this little part of the trail. Some gal was coming around, coming towards me, around the corner. I didn't see her at the time. But she has a dog, big old black dog. Saw this head looking around the corner. <laughs> Awful small for a bear, but maybe it's a cop. Anyway, some big old brute of a short-haired dog. So, <laughs> whatever. So I'm just looking around. I'm not making very good time. I'm just taking it all in. But let me let me show you. Show you what I'm seeing here. And I hear water up ahead. A couple people there with kayaks. And way out there in the water is kayak it looks like. Paddle board or something. I hear water. Ooh. <laughs> Waterfall. I love the sound of the water. Then you have pretty flowers.
uh, just went around the corner and there's a bear. It's right on the trail. Well, a few feet off of the trail. And here comes some gal down the trail. Oh, maybe it's not a bear. But it's got pointy ears. <laughs> Must be a deer. Let's see if I can catch it on this camera. There's two of them. Two deer. Well, they're sure not very afraid of anything. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I thought it was a bear. I just saw the brown. I thought, as soon as I saw it, I backed up. That gal just went past and uh, said, these deer are not afraid. She said, nah, they're posing. And I don't know how you aim this camera, but I just passed two young bucks. The antlers are the size of a, I don't know, two or three inches long, big around as a lemon and velvet, of course. They just stood there by the trail. One on my left side, I could have touched it, is that close? Just watch me as I walked by. So, it's a few little sprinkles of rain before I got here in the car. <clears throat> and uh, right now, blue sky with some clouds, not windy. That's the best thing is the wind not here holy cow it's doable without the wind i think it was 2017 when a big forest fire came through and uh burned up gobs and gobs of wood trees that's why i'm walking through right now it's kind of kind of cool i mean it's uh i don't know different it, it's long but Anyway, the weather's okay. No problem at all. No complaints today. So, uh, here's a little lookout thing. Let's go check it out. We'll go see this lookout together. See what it looks like. Let's see what the lookout looks like. It's all the dead trees, if you can see the mountains over there, all the trees have been burned. I believe it was 2017. A little bench, just past the family, well they are coming my way, uh, Asian family, four adults and probably like five or six small children, eight or 10 or 12 years old. Took off the neck gaiter, if that's what you call it. Scarf, tube scarf thing around your neck. Didn't need it, it's pretty warm. Getting warm, that kind of holds too much heat around my neck and my head. Well, I hope everyone out there is having a good day. And uh, the high today supposed to be in the high 60s this is Friday and then Monday and Tuesday supposed to be in the mid 70s to high 70s and uh, be nice I think I'll come back here's something else I see 
see how close I can get. Some sort of butterfly. There's the trail. Let's go up the trail a little bit. Still snow. Here's a fork in the trail. That goes that way. This one goes around and here's the sign. It says Bertha Falls, one and a quarter kilometers. Bertha Lake, 4.2 and then to the left is Bertha Bay, Boundary Bay, and the U.S. border. U.S. border is 11.5 kilometers, and then it's 1.5 kilometers behind me to Waterton, the town. So I think I'm going to go up here to Bertha Falls, which is 1.4 kilometers, and see what that looks like. Who's with me? Who wants to go? Ah, I see a bunch of hands. All right, going to Bertha Falls. That was pretty amazing, isn't it? I want to head up that trail right there. I hear the waterfall. This would be Lower Bertha Falls. Oh wow, I can see it through the trees. You feel a cold mist in the air. How's that song go? I see skies of blue and clouds of white. The bright, pleasant day and the dark, sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Now the the trail actually goes over there on the far side. And it goes around that mountain and ends up going up to uh, Bertha Lake. So somewhere away, there's too much snow over there. You're not going to get over there without snowshoes. But later on in the year then, you would cross the creek right here get up over there and head up that way. 
I see another little vantage point. Let's go check it out. So this is Lower Bertha Falls. That's pretty cool. There we go. Pretty loud. Hope everybody's having a good day. This is the end of my journey. So I'm gonna take a little break and turn around and head back. So this is Lower Bertha Falls. Real pretty. Nice little spot here to have a picnic. Water. Crystal clear and really cold. Here's what I'm seeing. Who wouldn't like to go up here and sit and listen to this and just relax? from the parking lot where I parked the car to right here is about one and a half, one and three quarter miles. I believe I'll have to check it on, on the GPS, so I think that's what I saw. Anyway, it didn't take very long to get here. There is some elevation gain, but yet saw two adults and have a little girl that's probably six or eight. Uh, they, they said they came to the falls. They were on the way back. I'm down the trail just a little bit. The water is really, really clear. I'm uh, more than halfway back to the parking lot. And it's starting to cloud a little bit. Sun kind of being covered up. But uh, it was a nice hike. And uh, going down, going back to the parking lot, most of it's downhill. So it's easier going back down. So. I will uh, put this together and send it to put it out there for people that might want to see it. But the waterfalls are really pretty. That's that was amazing. They were a lot of water. They were pretty good sized falls. And uh, I, I passed somebody a while back. And they said they've been to the. This is the lower Bertha Falls. They said they've been to the upper Bertha Falls, and those are even prettier. But right now, there's just still too much snow to get in there unless you want a snowshoe or something. So, one day, I will, uh, I'll do that before uh, August. And uh, 
I got my reservations for August the 2nd, which is a Monday. That's when I will start to hike. In fact, I will be on this trail that I'm on currently. Uh, it goes down to, starts at the U.S. border. And then it goes up here to Waterton. And uh, let me show you, let me show you what I'm seeing. So, four adult guys and some young teenager and a dog. Dog had a backpack on. They just passed me. That's Waterton out there, the red roof and the green. That's the town of Waterton. So this trail behind me, like uh, 12, 12, 13 kilometers, goes to the U.S. border. So in August, I will be on this trail. I'll go down to the border and then turn around and come back. So you come back up this trail, go through Waterton, and then the campground for that night, Monday night the 2nd, is Alderson Lake Campground. And that, that first day is, uh, I believe it's, it's about 16 miles what I will uh, be hiking that day. And I'll camp there and then continue over the mountains over to Coleman. So, A lot of pretty yellow flowers. Don't know what the name is, but they have uh, bright yellow flowers on it. Pretty. This is the sign at the beginning of the trail. Trail. I was on went to that point right there. All right, it's uh, 10 after 5, and I'm just about at the car. I see it down there. And uh, I've just been talking to two black ladies. They are from Calgary. They were just on the hike. And uh, anyway, they have an accent, and I said, where's that accent from? They said, Trinidad. So they're I was asking about food. They do uh, green bananas and plantains, and they do a crab stew with a plant that I've never heard of. I don't know what, what they said, but they said it's big, huge leaves, and it's uh, a very mild, and I said like kale. She said, similar to leaves like kale, but mild, and when you cook it up, it gets, sounds like it gets kind of uh, gummy but uh, they cook it with crab with coconut oil and she said they don't do spices she says if the family likes spicy food then they'll spice it up with scotch bonnet peppers otherwise it's kind of mild but that that's not traditional for them to be spicy and they said uh, they speak Spanish and English and now on Trinidad, there's a lot of Hindu. These two ladies didn't know Hindu. And uh, they said uh, they have uh, kind of like a fry jack, a bleach fry jack, uh, like a dumpling, they said, for breakfast. And they cut it open and stuff it with eggs and bacon and whatever, she said, chicken, whatever you want to put in it. I said, yeah, I'm pretty familiar with that. So uh, I spent about 15 minutes talking to them. So they headed back to Calgary, which is about three hours from here. So that's my day. Hope everybody's had a good day. And uh, like I said, it's uh, right now it's about 5.15. So I'm gonna sign off and don't forget, whatever you do, don't forget, may the force be with you.